Hey guys, John here from HydroEmpire.com and I'm here to tell you how to treat spider mites and I'm going to show you how to do it right. So this is a spider mite. As you can see, these little bugs are really disgusting looking. But you can't see them with the naked eye usually. They look like little dots crawling around. But the way to really identify them is usually with spider webbing. So that's why they're called spider mites is because they actually produce webs like spiders but they use these webs to protect themselves against the elements. What a lot of people don't realize is that these spider mites are wreaking havoc on your garden. They can literally cut your yield in half, if not more, and even kill your whole harvest. Now that you've figured out that you have spider mites, this is how to do it right. This is how the experts do it, this is how I do it. You know, a lot of people tell you how to do things and they say one, one thing works, but the proper way is to change things up, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So this is step one. You want to fog your room. These here are total release foggers. You're going to open them, pop them, one hit, make sure you get out of the room as fast as you can, and leave. These things let all the can out all at once, and you want to be out of the room for at least four hours, if not 24 hours. But the first one up, as you can see in my hand, is Beethoven. This is a miticide insecticide. It's very strong and it will knock down your spider mites right away. Three days later, you want to switch to pylon. The reason for that is you don't want to build up a tolerance. So the pylon would be next, and three days later would be pyrethrum. And that's your three fogger setup. So a lot of people will think just using these foggers will do this will do the trick, but in actuality you can keep going further than that. And the way that experts do things would make sure that all these mites are gone. Just because you can't see the webbing or you don't see any growth doesn't mean that they're all gone. So the way to make sure you do that is to make sure you spray with a miticide like Fluoromite and then again you want to change things up and go to something like Avid. And you want to spray these about every three days and make sure you get under and over all the leaves. So now that you've eliminated your spider mite problem, it doesn't mean they're always not going to come back. You know, you always have clones that are coming in. They could come in off your clothing and whatnot, even off your shoes. But so in order to make sure that they don't come back, you can maintain with Azimax, SNS217, and SNS209. The Azimax is great because it's organic and it's a broad spectrum. It will get rid of almost every bug that's in your garden. You could use this as systemic or as a foliar spray. And you got your 217C. If you have any thought of spider mites coming into your garden, maybe off of a my, uh, off a clone or off of your clothing or somebody in your room, you could always spray with this just to make sure that nothing happens. And then you got your 209, which is a great systemic, and just in case, you can always throw it in your reservoir. As an expert grower, I figured out how to get rid of spider mites, and this is the perfect regimen for it. You know. Bugs grow a huge tolerance up to things, so you want to change things up every three days. And that's why we have so many products up here. You know, bugs also reproduce about every three days. And that's why you got to do it every three days. And that's why our regimen is the way it is. And that's how you do it right. 